Good afternoon. It's a windy afternoon. Rained about four tenths of an inch of yesterday, inch of rain. It's cloudy this afternoon, but we're not expected to get any more rain till Sunday. Uh, got water in my water tank. If we get another inch of rain or so, then it'll be full again. Anyway, I got my uh, vesting LED wood finish in today. And so we're going to go through the process of finishing one windowsill. So here we go. Okay, so as I had mentioned earlier, this is a new a product to me, a new method of putting a finish on. And uh, it actually comes out of Great Britain, England, and it's a company called Vesting, and they call this stuff Vesting LED. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and talk about what things I'm gonna be using here in, in this endeavor. Okay, here it is. It's by Vesting, as I said. And it's an LED hard wax oil, and the color I'm using is what's called LED Pure, which is a clear that you'd like a clear poly that you'd put on. But what makes this stuff so great during prep? And here's the uh, sills that I'm working on for here, and there's two over here. Is that your your prep sanding is only down to 120. That's it, 120. Instead of going up to 180 or 220 before you put on your finishes, your stains, and your polys, you only take this to 120. And then when you put it on, is uh, what's different about it is, as you're well aware, when we apply stain, we go with the grain and, uh, and then let it sit, wipe it off, reapply if necessary, let it set, wipe it off, and then let it dry before that's just the stain portion then your poly or whatever other finish you're putting on top goes on top of that plus it's time allocations and requirements but with only going to a 120 grit a you're done with your sanding very quickly now after the sanding was done is i blew this off as recommended with compressed air that way it would keep the grain open to absorb the vesting product. Now, as we stated, when you, when you put on your, your stains and stuff, you put on a, with a in, the, in, the motion, in the direction of the grain. With this, they recommend putting it on with a white scotch pad like you did uh, in the Karate Kid, wax on, wax off. So you actually apply it in a circular motion to drive the product down into the grain. So if you understood the Karate Kid uh, remark, uh, that was 36 years ago. Anyway, back to this. So they recommend uh, putting on with a wax on, wax off motion, but they also recommend using a, like a scotch white pad, which is essentially a thousand grit or a polishing pad. So we drive that down into the wood, then we come back immediately and, and wipe it as dry as we can. And so once we wipe it as dry as we can, we then take this LED gun and flash it and the, the finish is immediately dry, immediately, and ready for the second coat. The, before you put on the second coat, you come back with 320 sandpaper and you just essentially you're taking off all of the little mountains or nubs that are left and getting it smooth. So it's a very quick 320 up and down and you're essentially done. You then apply your second coat, wax on and wax off. And I don't even believe you have to wipe off the uh, sawdust, uh, not sawdust, the finish dust that this knocked up because it essentially is like uh, an, any, a lot of products and, and puts it back down into your, into your finish. So then you, you uh, do a, a second, you put on a second coat of, like I said, the product. And because you put on so little is what's already on your pad is probably enough to get the product on. You don't even have to add more or very little. So anyway, that's, that's the game plan. 
So before we get started, things you're gonna need is product, can opener, stir stick, and I'm uh, using one of these rubber ones so it, I can just pull the finish right off of it. Gloves, my uh, sander that I'm using to sand in between coats, and then another sander that's got a white pad on it, gloves, and a spare battery. So those are the things, and the, the cloth. Now what's good about this, and I'll point this out later, is once I put the product on and wipe it off, like all, or like most oil-based finishes, this is flammable. And you can actually take, and, and you'll see me do it, you can actually take your gun and, and um, flash your, your wipe, and so it's dry immediately, so it, there's no chance of it creating a fire.
putting on the second coat without adding any more finish. I can feel that it is wet just from the pad, what was on the pad. And now to dry it again. I think that was amazing, is that you saw how much material I put onto the pad. I was able to do the whole piece of wood, the sill, wipe it down dry with the cloth, and then uh, take the LED gun, dried it instantly. Then I came back and ran my 320 sandpaper over it knocking down the bumps and there were a few then came back without putting any more material on that polishing pad and uh, got it wet again wiped it drowned down as dry as i could get it and then uh, took the gun to it the led gun and then dried it so now that's now that window sill is ready to install and that from start to finish in here was about an hour Okay, so you saw, well you didn't see the initial sanding to 120, which is just amazing. 
because I'm so used to sanding their deer over there. So used to seeing or sanding up to 180 or 220 before putting on stain or polyurethane or any other kind of finish. To do only 120 is just amazing. And then uh, blow it off with air to get the big, big dust particles uh, out of the grain of the wood so the material, the vesting uh, pure, which is the clear, I put down is uh, goes on like uh, wax on, wax off from the Karate Kid, and then uh, uh, wipe it, uh, wipe it with a cloth as, as dry as you can get it, and then take the LED gun and dry it instantly. So you go over two or three passes, uh, which um, and then it's done. And so that was the amazing part. So I'm not going to show putting it back into the window sill itself and then putting a trim around that. Uh, we'll sh I'll have a video a little bit later that talks about that. So anyway, I uh, hope you found this interesting. Uh, as I said, I found this uh, material on uh, John Peters' uh, YouTube website. I think uh, he has some great videos. And uh, I was just enamored when I saw this uh, a month ago or six weeks ago. And, had to try it. It's expensive, but if it saves you that much time, it pays for itself anyway. And it, and you, and you saw how much material I put on to the to the pad itself. A, a quart, they say, a quart of that finish will last will last for two or three hundred square feet of lumber. So anyway, give me a thumbs up, hit the uh, bell if you're interested in others, and uh, talk to you later.